Hey everybody, this is Perch, and let's say you're a creator at the Big Two, and you would like to generate more of a following. You'd like to get people to buy your books, and you want to, you know, you want you want to get you want to get more interest. By the way, it's limited to the Big Two. This applies to Image and Mad Cave and Boom or whoever it happens to be. If let's say you have an ongoing series or a limited series, basically more than one. This is more than a one shot. This idea will not work for a one shot. Here's, here's something you could do, which, which your customers, your readers, your audience will appreciate. And you may think to yourself, that's ah, a dumb thing. Nobody really wants that. I mean, like, like that, that, no, this, this won't matter, but trust me, it does. Okay. So here's what you need to do. Uh, basically this where you use your social media of choice. You can use Facebook or Twitter, or Instagram, whatever it happens to be. And the day before your book comes out. You know, your issue two, three, five, eight hundred and fourteen, whatever it happens to be. Uh, the day before it comes out. So if your comic's coming out on a Wednesday, do this on a Tuesday. Uh, recap the story thus far. Create a nice structured and actually take some time the first time you do this. Lay out, you know, you can grab a, a PowerPoint template that lays out a page in Instagram sizing. And you can put your text and your image. You can put whatever you want there. And basically... Uh, lay out the the story thus far in blah, whatever it happens to be. Let's say you're Saladin Abed and you've got Miles Morales. Put out a, a little graphic. Um, you know, if you want to be really fancy with it, put out a little infographic kind of style, but that may take too much work. I, I'm trying to give you something that you can do in 10 minutes or less. Probably take you about, you know, 45, 60 minutes the first time you do it, but every subsequent time it'll be super quick. And basically say, hey, catching you up with the story thus far, put in a little, you know, the cover of the book that, that's coming out the, the next day, and just recap what the F is going on in your comic with basic stuff. And then add in, if there's any guest stars or it's crossing over an event or any kind of shenanigans or anything else like that, add that in at the bottom too. So one, you know, very, very simple. And then tweet it out or or post to Instagram, or put it on Facebook, whatever it happens to be, just just put it out there the day before. And then just get in the habit of always doing this the day before it comes out. And the goal, and if you want to be really fancy about it, include in a link to a comic shop locator, or to Comixology, or whatever it happens to be. And the, the purpose, if it's not clear, is simply to send a message of, you know, number one, hey, here's a reminder that this comic is coming out. Number two, and this is the sneaky part, you, when you write the, here's the story thus far, try and write it in an exciting way. Like what's happened thus far actually matters and that it sounds good. Like, like that, you, that you actually want to know what matters. Try to put, put, put some excitement into your pitch. Don't write things like, ah, the team, you know, had some lunch and then they, they talked for a while and, you know, there's so much drama. Oh my God, OMG. Don't, don't put that. No, you you want to you want to hype up the book, okay? So just just put a little bit, but hype backward. Again, you're hyping the past. You're saying here's what happened because the the feeling that you want to generate to people is twofold. One, hey, there's a new book coming out tomorrow. Cool. I see some art. This is exciting. You're usually paying for good people to do your covers, so chances are you got some good cover art. It's not going to suck. Put that on out there. And then in the main body, what you want to do this is the twofold part. You want to generate a feeling of Hey, I missed something. This is really important. It's a key part of comic sales. Everybody often thinks forward-looking, but you need to also think backward-looking. You, you need to also give a sense to people who haven't yet picked up your book, and given that sales are, are particularly high, you, you, want to, you, know, you, you always want to get new customers into the mix, and you, chances are most of the people seeing your tweet, your thing on Facebook, your, your, your Instagram post, Chances are almost all the people viewing it have not read your comic. Now, how do I know this? Well, you know, for example, you look at your follower list and I see some creators with like, you know, 60,000, 80,000, 100,000 followers and their comic is selling like, you know, 14,000 copies a month. So therefore, let's say simple math, your follower count minus the people buying, you know, not good. So therefore 
you're, you've got a lot of people who in theory are interested in you because they're following you. They want to hear what you have to say, but they're not spending any money on your comic. So therefore, what you can do is this psychological trick a little bit of, hey, something's coming out tomorrow, reminder, and hey, P.S., you've been missing out on something. Because what you really hope happens is that people go to the store and they, they're like, hey, I remembered to go pick up this comic that's coming out new from you, this, this creator, and I realize, I feel, I feel like I've been missing out on the story so far. It seems pretty cool. Let's, let's buy those back issues. Let's get excited about that trade, whatever it happens to be. Or maybe you head on over to Comixology and you just you binge, you know, get the first five issues so you can be ready for the six. That's, that's what you're after. And you might say to yourself, that, that sounds stupid. It's a small thing. Well, you're right about half of it. It is absolutely a small thing. But it's not dumb. You would be shocked at the reception that you will get by doing that very basic of things, by just reminding people that your book exists, especially in these times where people aren't going to the shop as often, just, just reminding people that, that there's a book out there to buy, and reminding people of the story you're telling. Almost every single comic out there is sequential storytelling. It's building upon itself. The, the issue that's out is stronger because of the issue before it. So, you know, poking at that little reminder, that's a strength you have in comics. Reminding people that that's the case is a big deal. Now, by the way, you might say to yourself, hey, I, uh, I don't work for any major publisher. I'm a little indie guy and, and I publish stuff kind of, you know, when I can or, or maybe very infrequently, maybe every eight months I've got a comic out. That's cool too. This will still work for you. In fact, arguably, this may work even better for you because you're reminding people uh, that you you have an ongoing story that they should jump in on. And the crazy part is that by doing this, and, and again, just spend an hour building yourself an awesome little template that you can use and reuse. That all you need to do is when you're done building it, you updated the you know you dropped in some new art, you updated the text, then you can just Plop that right out. Uh, you can export it right out and then upload to whatever social media platform you're using. Uh, it, it goes really, really quick once you've done it once. Uh, this, this, A, it's positive content on your site. Two, it reminds people of the comic book, and that's good. Everybody likes that reminder. And, and it's, it, it's, it's just, this is easy. This is the easiest of easy stuff. It will help you sell comics. I promise you that. So give it a shot. Again, you know, make it catchy, everything else. Put some templates up. Very, very simple. And just try it. Try it for a couple months. If you're doing this right, it'll take you a little bit of time up front. Oh, and here's one other benefit. If you do this in this way, it's very unlikely your publisher is going to crap on you for, you know, marketing something that you shouldn't. All you're doing, I mean, you know, the comic shops are all going to get it the next day. You're not giving away any secrets. You're not doing their job for them. Well, you are, but you, you, it, it's very, very simple. And if you make yourself a good little template, you are likely going to look better than, you know, the big publishers because they, they often have such piss poor marketing that if you're a little indie company doing close to nothing, um, you're instantly going to look sharper, more professional. It just with basic graphic design skills, you're going to look better than they do. And then that's going to put you elevated up even further. So give it a shot. I'm, I'm serious. Give this a shot. Just very simplest of marketing. It you know, reminds people of your book. It reminds people what's come before. You can get a double buy there. And it's kind of sad to me a little bit that I'm, I'm saying this in a video because I think this is like this is like intern level 101 market your product book, but for whatever reason, comics seems to stumble on this, and uh, the social media feeds of a lot of people are just a complete dumpster fire of, of nonsense. So you know, use this immediately. You get in the top 10 percent of people <laughs> who are promoting your books, and you will see results. I guarantee you, you will see results. Uh, it just, just really, really simply. So give it a try. Uh, let me know how it goes for you. Hey, do you have any suggestions like this about how to, you know, be a little friendly advice, how we get some comic books into the hands of more people. Let me know in the comments below, like, and subscribe, uh, follow me on social media where I will just start picking a random, I'm going to make some company very confused. 
because I'm going to pick a company. I, I promised I would do this. I haven't started yet this year. It's been busy. I'm going to pick a company. I'm just going to start doing heavy marketing for them without any of their knowledge or anything. I, and, and it's, it's actually, I'm not even going to, uh, I don't want anything special from them. I don't want advanced copies. I don't want anything other than what any regular guy could go to the web and find. I just want to prove how freaking easy this is. And, and I, I'm, I'm going to do it. And this company's like, what the hell is going on? It's going to be fun. I, I promise. I'll, I'll, I'll take notes and it'll be a journey for all of us. Anyway, thanks for listening.